is 7 National News and in our top story in the implementation of the directives of the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Leva bin Zayed al Nahyan's 500 million dirham food aid for Yemeni people, the Khalifa bin Zayed Humanitarian Foundation continues to distribute food parcels to those displaced. To date, the foundation has distributed 2,500 food parcels to people from the Sheikh Othman area of Aden. The food parcels included items such as rice, flour, sugar, oil and milk powder for children. The UA president has assigned the foundation, the KZH Foundation, to purchase these supplies from the local markets in Yemen in order to activate their economy and revive its domestic market. Sheikh Khalifa has also given directives to distribute the food supplies directly among the Yemeni people by setting up outlets in different regions in order to ensure that it will reach a large number of people. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, today made a field inspection tour to Hatta and has ordered the construction of 250 houses for citizens. During the ruler's tour, he was greeted by the heads of each authority. He began his tour with visiting the Hatta Hospital and was briefed on healthcare services. Sheikh Mohammed then visited Hatta Municipality, where he was told about their services and development. Developments. Thereafter, he went to the General Directorate for Residency and Foreign Affairs. During the tour, the ruler also visited the Hatta border port crossing, which linked the UAE and Oman, and was briefed on the new high tech border port crossing complex, which will be ready to welcome travellers to and from the UAE later this year and will be completed with a total cost of around 35 million dirhams. The UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, has called on individuals and organisations to increase charity work and practice true Islamic values during the holy month of Ramadan. The ruler's comments came after he received thousands of proposals on the best initiatives that could be put forward and adopted during Ramadan. Sheikh Mohammed promised to implement some of these initiatives and postpone others to next year. The UAE Red Crescent Authority has granted one million US dollars worth of medical aid to Palestine's health sector. The Palestinian Minister of Health, Dr. Hani Abdeen, said that the UAE's Red Crescent Authority was the first organization to respond to the call of the Palestinian Authority. The money will go towards patients in need of treatment for cancer, diabetes, and kidney failure. He pointed out that the UAE and its humanitarian organizations, in particular the RCA, have provided huge relief to the Palestinian people, as well as the construction within cities, villages and Palestinian refugee camps. In a bid to bridge cultural gaps across the Arab world, over 70 books will be translated into various languages, promoting Islamic civilization and its rich history. The management of the Sharjah International Book Fair announced the initiative through the Translation Grand Fund, which is under the directors of His Highness Dr. Sheikh Sultan bin Mohammed Al-Kazmi, the member of the Supreme Council and ruler of Sharjah. The 78 selected books were chosen from 200 submissions from both Arab and international publishers. Valued at 128,000 US dollars, the chosen titles include Arabic books, which are to be translated into other languages, including English, Turkish and French. The director of the SIBF event believes that an initiative such as this will encourage literacy and cross-cultural education across the Gulf region. Actually, it's not only encouraging literacy in UAE only, but it's also encouraging literacy around the Arab world and exchanging culture between us among, you know, the Arab writers and the authors. And it was a good opportunity for the Arab public authors to meet, uh, to, to translate their books to different languages, like Turkish, French, and English, and different languages, even German. All these was supported uh, through the Sharjah International Book Fair Fund to promote this one, and that was the main aim of His Highness Dr. Sheikh Sultan bin Mohammed Al Qasimi to encourage literacy not only in the UAE but in the whole region. 
Dubai's first green mosque will welcome 3,500 worshippers by the end of 2013, as announced this week by the ORCAF and Miners Affairs Foundation. The 20 million dirham project is expected to save energy, reduce water consumption and negate hazardous building materials. The AMAF representatives expressed that the development of the eco-friendly mosque to be located in Dera will contribute towards creating a more ecologically sound emirate. The foundation has also hired a UK environmental consultant to draft a construction plan that will utilise the most cost-effective solutions for the project. The Secretary-General to the AMAF, Tayyip Abdul Rahman al Race, anticipates that this will become the standard for all mosques in the future. The mosque itself, what we did, we built the mosque uh, on, based on a heritage design because heritage design is a very simple design, but it's a lovely design. And uh, we, we have really reduced in the material uh, of the mosque so we can... Uh, so eventually, in the long run, we don't have uh, a big maintenance uh, bill as well. So, again, conserving and uh, preserving its longevity. Uh, sustainability of any country today under circumstances, it comes from uh, saving our resources. As, as you know, in, uh, in a place like a mosque, you use two of the most important uh, elements of our resources, which is water and electricity. Electricity is generated by uh, cell fuel, and cell fuel comes from the earth as a natural resource. So we have a responsibility in preserving these for, for the later generations. And uh, by introducing the eco-friendly mosque concept, uh, we, we aim to reduce uh, uh, a chunk of this uh, resource from, uh, from being uh, wasted every day. And up next, we have the day's business news. So stay with us.